Meet Arnold. Being an experienced astronaut, he was entrusted with delivering fresh supplies of food and clothing to the International Space Station. Arnold, stop eating food that's meant for the crew. What do you have there? Don't tell me. That's a homemade burrito. Did you make it for the astronauts? The rocket has successfully docked with the ISS. Get ready. To open the door, you need to click on the green button in three, two, one. Green button, Arnold, green. I doubt that any of the astronauts are gonna rush to your aid after you left them without any food. You have enough air for eight hours. Somehow during this time, you have to get to the ISS by yourself. Moving your body around ain't gonna do nothing. Even if you run like Sonic, your body's gonna stay in one place. So, here are some real options for moving in space. The first option is using the air from your oxygen tank. Air moves through its tubes at a speed of 50 kilometers per second. This kind of energy in just 60 seconds could carry you as far as three kilometers. But this will significantly reduce your air supply. So let's move on to the second option, burrito. You wrapped it in foil and foil is an excellent reflector. If you make a sail out of the foil, then particles of light reflecting off of it will transmit their momentum to the foil and thereby accelerate you through space. Did you hear nothing I said about a sail? Son of a schmuck! Ooh, we could use that too. Gases exit the human body at a speed of 3 meters per second and they can fill an entire balloon in a day. You just need to think of a way to let them out. Arnold, what are you up to? How many burritos did you eat? Just a little bit left. Stretch! And... Remember that show Love, Death and Robots? You're oh. gonna have to tear off your hand. Okay, or just your finger. You only have three meters left. Detach part of the suit and throw it in the opposite direction. This will push you forward. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Quick, make a wish. 